guys how are you this is Lois welcome back to my channel oh my god happy new year guys it's been a minute um, I think I was last here on 22nd of December and I took a Christmas break and a new year break and my birthday break and I decompressed and I am fresh for 2022 so I hope you are fresh as well uh, guys today I want us to talk about the new Atlantic immigration program uh, because as I told you uh, before we closed last year uh, the Atlantic immigration pilot was coming to an end and I just want to give you a quick update on that and how to proceed uh, with immediate effect okay guys have you subscribed if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe like and share this video uh, with your friends and relatives out there okay uh, guys um, I know if you don't know me if this is your first time here I do I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I'm based in Calgary Alberta Canada uh, so if you need any help with immigration you need immigration services please head to Milele immigration services uh, website and I'm gonna be pinning that website at the description part of this video and if you need any legal advice uh, second opinion you feel conflicted you want clarification please book a consultation uh, with me on our website uh, on the same website okay guys so as I said uh, the Atlantic immigration pilot was actually closed on 31st of December 2021 okay uh, so now that has been replaced so the government kind of realized that it was a very successful program for the last uh, few years that the pilot program has been running. And now instead of continuing it as a pilot, they decided to make it a permanent program. Isn't that nice? So that is really good news. And uh, just to recap, uh, you know, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot, which has now been renamed as Atlantic Immigration Program, uh, a lot of things kind of remain the same. Okay, but we're just gonna go over them quickly so that uh, you have a refresher. I had made a video about the Atlantic immigration pilot previously, uh, but I'll still do this uh, for people who are new here. So the main thing is that it operates in the Atlantic provinces of Canada, okay? And the Atlantic provinces of Canada, we are talking of uh, Newfoundland, uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Prince Edward Island. Okay, those four provinces are the ones that participate in this program and they are going to continue to participate in this program. You also know that uh, the other main requirement for the Atlantic Immigration Program is that you must get yourself a job offer. But this is not like a regular job offer whereby you have to get an employer who gets you an LMIA and then you do blah, 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 you apply for a work permit. No, uh, you will get a job offer from designated employers who are allowed to hire foreign nationals uh, from wherever, whether they're in Canada or whether they are abroad uh, through this pilot program. So it's actually a permanent uh, residence program okay it's a permanent residence program uh, but you need a job offer from a designated employer okay guys uh, i know some people were sending me questions and they were asking me so what hap what happens to the people who are already in motion uh what is the transition so the transition looks like this so it was closed on december 31st but if you had received a valid provincial certificate of endorsement uh, before 31st December, you can still apply for the PR under the same closed program until March 5, uh, 2022. But on March 6, after March 6, you will now be able to submit your PR application through the new program. Okay, so the new program, you won't be able to apply through that new program until March 6 of 2022. Uh, so during this transition period, uh, if you had a job offer and you had been endorsed by uh, the province, then you can go ahead and still apply through the old. So you're being grandfathers, uh, grandfathered uh, through that program. Okay. So what are the good things about this program? In case you're wondering, you haven't heard about this program, what are the good things? What are the requirements uh, for you? I said the first one is getting a job offer from a designated employer. 
uh, then the other good thing with this program is it has uh, less proof of finances. You know that when you're coming to Canada, even through the express entry, you need to show that you have finances that can help you settle in Canada. This one has only a fraction uh, of proof of finance requirement for that of the express entry. So you find that uh, for a family of one, uh, you need 3,303 Canadian dollars. Uh, for a family of two, you need 4,112. A family of three, you need uh, five thousand and fifty five dollars uh, for family of four you need uh, six thousand and a hundred and thirty eight family of five uh, six thousand nine hundred and sixty two a family of six you need uh, seven thousand eight hundred and fifty two and there's an additional eight hundred and ninety per additional family member and that uh, money is all in Canadian dollars okay please don't ask me how much that is in <laughs> USD so I am in Canada and I'm gonna give you the, the the finances in Canadian dollars that's what my head uh, works with okay and then uh, it also this program also requires a low language requirement we know that a majority of these permanent programs they require you to have a very high language score uh, but this one is different because uh, you only need a CLB5 for occupations in skill sets a uh, NOC O A or B and a NOC um, a CLB4 uh, for NOC uh, skill set C okay then you must have education credential assessment so when i say you have clb then guys go ahead and do your ielts make sure that you have your ielts that's what i mean so language requirement make sure that you have your ielts that is the requirement then you must also have your education credential assessments uh, and you need at least a high school credential okay then you must show that you have work experience in that occupation where you're being hired and uh the requirement is at least a one year work experience in the last five years they only consider the last five years as long as you can show that you have one year work experience um that's what matters the work experience differs a little bit especially uh with international graduates so if you graduated from canada from an institution in the atlantic provinces across that took two years you don't need to have to show work experience okay just make sure you understand uh, the work experience requirements for the two different demographics that is for the people who immigrated in canada i mean for people who are abroad and for the people who graduated in the in the atlantic provinces okay now 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 let's get to the job offer because i know you've heard uh, the issue of getting a job offer it's actually simpler and i've come across uh, a lot of people who reach out to me and they tell me Lois, i got a job offer i want you to help me apply so people do get job offers because as i said these jobs are through an immigration program and this program is the atlantic immigration program okay these are not the jobs you just find posted uh, randomly on job bank or indeed or wherever these are jobs that are specifically tailored for this immigration pathway and they are to bring uh, foreign workers to these provinces to fill the labor needs in those provinces okay so you sh it's not just every job offer that counts as i said the job offer must be from a designated employer okay so employers now there are two parts of the immigration pilot okay the atlantic immigration program there's the candidate part and the employer part an employer who wants to hire you must first get designated by the province they must be vetted uh, and allowed to hire okay uh, once they do that now they give you a job offer okay and every province has a list of designated employers okay so what i will do at the end of this uh, video i'm going to pin the various lists of designated employers so that you can focus on those designated employers and apply for jobs with them because as long as an employer is designated and the occupations are designated then they can hire you through this, this program uh, if they advertise for those jobs and of course you qualify and you go through the the, the recruitment process okay so uh you get a job offer then what happens after you get a job offer you have to be careful uh, on the type of a job offer uh the job must be full-time okay it must be full-time it must also be in knock skill set o a or b and c there are some limitations with c 
okay there are some limitations with the skill set c make sure that you understand uh, if you get a job offer in skill set c it must uh, it must be permanent okay and then after you get a job or from my friend what you should do next is get a settlement plan and a settlement plan is a plan that you have to come up with uh, of course uh, you can get help coming up with a settlement plan it shows that uh, you're getting ready you've done your research and you have a plan on how to adjust uh, to life in Atlantic Canada okay after you get a settlement plan and you get a job offer make sure your employer gets you something called a certificate of endorsement so it's not up to you to endorse that job offer so the employer is going to get you that job offer and then take it to the province for endorsement okay so once you are endorsed then you can apply for pr okay that is permanent residence remember most of the applicants are abroad so if you're abroad uh, and you have a job offer most employers are gonna need you to, of course to start your job immediately but the process here says you apply for permanent residence so what happens then because you have to wait for the you know for the processing period uh, for permanent residence of course you'll be bringing your family so you find that that can take a long time and maybe the employer is not willing to hold on to that job offer for one year or two years uh, depending on the processing time of your country so what happens is that then there's an optional work permit you can apply for an optional work permit uh, you're going to need uh, some letter from the province uh, like a recommendation for you to get that work permit so you can apply for work permit so what happens is that you're going to apply for PR and also uh, you may you may be eligible to apply for the work permit a one-year work permit that lets you work uh, in Canada while your PR is getting processed and you must work for that specific employer okay uh, when you come here on a work permit then what happens to your family uh, if you're married you have a spouse uh, you don't want to leave them behind so what you can do is that you can also apply for a spouse so an open uh, work permit for your spouse so um, and that is for skill sets O, A, B, or C, and they can come with you to Canada. You would be working for this employer who brought you here, but your spouse is free to work for anybody, and you never know actually what actually ends up happening. Uh, you, you know, uh, your PR will be getting processed, and your uh, your spouse will be gaining Canadian work experience. Okay, my friends. So that is the new uh, Atlantic Immigration Program. Uh, as I said, most of the things, they've remained the same, but now it's a permanent program. And I'm super excited to see the success of this program because it's been a really successful Atlantic program. Uh, if you were with me just before Christmas, I made a video on occupations in demand in Nova Scotia. So I did list... Um, job links uh job platforms uh whereby you could look for jobs for designated employers in nova scotia i will try and get as many links for all the designated employers for these provinces and other job sites where you can actually find where these designated employers list their jobs even in the other provinces not just nova scotia okay guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe like and share and you will be seeing a lot of me uh, this year god willing i am super energized i am super motivated and i hope that you know we've had bad years i'm really hoping that this is going to be the year of change it's going to be a beautiful year for me and for you my follower so please like uh, share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye now